Hello everyone, thank you for watching again and um, I have some things to share with you, okay? Best thing is that I have some chocolates. <laughs> it's some special chocolates. These chocolates are mooncake chocolates. I thought I'd, I'd, I actually ordered some mooncakes, but it turned out it's chocolates. So, great. <laughs> so, this is quite cool. They send it with a little packet like this. Okay, I have to show you. It's beautiful. I'm enjoying my life. All the little things. See? Okay, I will figure this out like this. Voila! Yummy! It looks like mooncakes. You see? Mmm, but it's chocolate! I am going to try some. Okay. Mm, I don't know which one to try. It's a difficult decision. Maybe let's go for the middle one. Okay? Let's be symmetric. The middle one. Okay, it looks like this. Some white chocolate. Some printed things on, si on the top here. Chocolate. I don't know what it says. It's Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Smells delicious. Mm. <laughs> really good. <laughs> oh, did I mention I'm trying to be on a diet? <laughs> anyway, I've been eating salad for like three weeks now. Every lunch, yeah. It's good. It's good salad, by the way. And I ordered it on Alipay, and it's really convenient. And it's really cheap and yeah for anyone that comes here remember alipay is your number one app that you need to use and try to figure out everything okay and it helps to have like some chinese friends just to show you what to do i don't read chinese i don't understand chinese i understand some chinese like dui it means yes and shuma it means what so yeah that's it and um so use the alipay it's great it really it, it makes my life so much easier and it's got like little icons that you can like go to other apps on so yeah the takeout one works fine oh i have to tell you the story about my takeout the other day i decided okay i'm going to order a pizza okay also part of my diet <laughs> and um the, the, well, at home, okay. So I ordered this pizza and I saw on my app, like the GPS thingy, the guy's like real close by. And I was sitting on my kitchen counter thinking, okay, looking out of the window because the guy can't come up. And um, I just uh, thought I will see him most probably and just like, run down. And I like Googled how to say I'm coming. <laughs> I can't remember it anymore. It's way, way something, okay. Oh, anyway, um, so yeah, it didn't happen. It took me and this poor delivery guy about 40 minutes to find each other because my address was wrong. Um, because the address that I was given by my uh, helper is wrong. So the poor guy was on the other side of the street. He can't understand English. I can't understand Chinese at all. I got this weird call. And I'm like, hello, hello. I thought it was the delivery guy. It turned out, I don't know who it was anyway. And after I dropped the call, I got this message, okay? So this message said, like SMS message, okay? This message said, are you the beauty that lives in thing community, okay? And I was like, huh. don't reply to this. This is weird and stalkery and weird yeah okay and i've had like some weird shit anyway and i just dropped it and then later an SMA, uh, another sms came through like um do you live in the front or in the back of this community i'm like no bro what the hell okay and this number kept calling me and i didn't answer it was just no stay away Anyway, so, yeah, eventually it turned out that it was the delivery guy, and I think he used a really bad translator app, and that this was not a good way to try to communicate with me, because later another number called me, 
and also Chinese guy, and I, th- I eventually gathered that is the delivery guy. Um, and he got on someone that can speak a little bit of English, and yeah, he kind of explained to me that he's somewhere around here and blah blah blah. I went outside, I was like, I'm here, I'm here, blah blah blah, and um, it was a fuck up, okay? So eventually, like the English speaking guy, uh, like try to message me and um i just said you know what it's okay i don't need this pizza i don't need this pizza i don't need this it's okay don't worry it's too difficult Wh- whatever i pay for it. it it doesn't matter um but it's not how they work so yeah this poor guy kept like trying really hard okay eventually i got it went out into like main street and i'm standing there like a weirdo with like unshaved legs <laughs> i was looking like a hobo but anyway, so I did that, and eventually the the uh, delivery guy found me. But I, if it was me, I would have thrown the pizza in like someone's face and just took my little scooter and drove off. But this guy was really nice, and he took my phone and he tried to he, he actually put in the right address or the correct address to go to. So the next time I can order delivery to my house, but I haven't tried it yet because I'm not brave enough i can't do that again it was so it was disturbing anyway so yeah that's what i could tell you oh this is really good um uh, i don't know what the mousse is but it's really good mm, like heaven anyway mm, might be mango Mm-mm. maybe orange or lemon Something like that. Okay. Okay, so oh, what I wanted to tell you was the five things. Okay, thanks for that one. Five things that I love about Nanjing, five things that I hate about Nanjing. Alright? So let's start with the bad first. First of all, I don't like the weather. Okay. The weather is quite extreme. So, okay, now today it's cooled down for the first time in months. So in the summer it's really hot and I, I really I'm not good with heat it makes me depressed and it makes me kind of cranky so it's not good um and in winter it's said to be really 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 cold like icy cold and it's because of the humidity so if you don't have an aircon in Nanjing you're screwed forever okay so I have this little fan I showed you my little fan Best little fan. And I have an aircon. Me and this aircon have really good relationship with each other. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I find really difficult is communication. So if you don't have help, you might have a big, big problem. Um, because I can't do things by myself or yeah, on my own. Like go to the bank. I, I have done that though. But it's really difficult and it's it's... It's a little bit frustrating. So if you don't have enough time to figure these things out, it's, yeah, it's kind of difficult. Um, what's the other thing that I hate? I thought about this and now I can't remember. <laughs> Oops, I must write it down next time. Okay, so that's two things that I don't like. Um, the thing that I love about Nanjing, the people, first of all. People are really friendly and they're really helpful and they're really cool. So I enjoy it here because of the people. Okay, the people are just, they are so open-hearted and you never find. Okay, where I come from, you don't find that often. Okay, most people are actually quite aggressive. So here, I've never felt threatened. Oh, second thing, safety. So cool. Okay, I feel safe walking on the streets. I feel I feel really safe. Maybe too safe. <laughs> So it's amazing. Um, I really like it as well as, yeah, third thing that I love, apps. Okay, the convenient apps that you have here. The banking system is so cool. Okay, you walk around with your phone, you scan your phone, you do everything with your phone. You just, it's secure, it's nice, it's good, it's easy, um, it's instant, it's really cool. Um, fourth thing, online shopping. Man, oh man, online shopping is great. <laughs> okay, so most things you can find, okay. Um, I use Bao Pals. It's some 
WeChat app is the best thing that I've figured out so far. And um, I've had some little bit of duds. One of them is this. Okay. It's supposed to be mustard yellow. Does this look like mustard yellow to you? Okay. It's supposed to be a nightdress. But it's yellow. So if you look at the mirror wearing this at night, you are wide awake. Okay. So, and it's supposed to be a nightdress. It's not. It's like a night shirt. Okay. But it's like, ooh, 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 sure. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. And, okay. One thing that I don't like about, like, the apps is that I don't really, the, the sizes. Okay. It, this is a problem in China. The sizes. I wear, like, an extra, extra large things because I normally wear medium at home. So, yeah. It's kind of depressing <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird so yeah um the sizes are a problem shoe sizes is different um yeah uh, another thing that i love is that our metric system are the same okay so kilometers centimeters millimeters um milliliters liters things like that it's the same so it makes it easier for me um yeah, it, it's quite good. Oh, and yeah, the apps, it's absolutely amazing. Um, so I can pay my utilities, I can order movie tickets, all those things on my apps. Um, something that frustrates me is that I can't read. Um, I can't read Chinese, I don't understand. So a lot of the apps I can't use because I don't understand it. Like Taobao, I don't understand it so I can't use it. Um, it might be way better than Baopals, but I can use Baopals because I can understand it. Um, yeah, so some products are also really difficult to find here. That's kind of annoying sometimes. Um, for example, food powder. <laughs> I know this is weird, but food powder is something that you use when you wear pumps. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I just have sweaty feet or something, stinky feet or something. I don't know. But I really use food powder quite often. So I put it in my shoes and there's no problem. But if you don't have food powder and this heat I don't know how you do it maybe if you wear socks but okay I've seen many people wearing socks right but it's like it's like pantyhose socks okay and it's like up until the ankle and just like that you just wear it like that with like sandals with heels it's horrific it's really bad I never want to see it again it's very bad but okay I don't wear it, I don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, there you have some experience, some chocolates, some apps, some likes, some dislikes. And I'll think about some other ones for you, especially for you. So thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, keep bringing me some comments about what you want to know. Um, oh yeah, last thing, the water filter. Um, the water here, you can't drink it, okay? Like the tap water, you can't drink the tap water, you'll get sick. Um, and the, like, most of the pipes are really old, so it's, it's a little dodgy. But it's okay to wash your, um, like, your dishes and it's okay. You don't get sick from that. Um, but I have an on-tap water filter. It works great. I got it from South Africa, though. Um, so before I came here, okay, actually after I came here, one of my South African friends here told me where to find it there. And I got my dad to buy it for me and send it to me, um, with one of these friends that come to China regularly. So, yeah. But it's like a normal on tap filter. You can buy it on Taobao. I actually own Bao Pals or Taobao or wherever. Um, and you can see you have to try the drinking water filter, not just water filter or kitchen filter. So you can find it and it's an investment, man. Because walking with like liters and liters of water up these stairs or anywhere, because you will have to carry the water wherever you go somehow. So not good. Not good. You can have it delivered, but then you have to, like, for me, it's difficult because I can't have things delivered here. Because how do I get it to my apartment? Because my apartment doesn't even have an elevator. So you have to walk up five flights of stairs. Um, and there's no doorman. Okay, but it's just my apartment. Most apartments here have doorman and they have uh, elevators. So, but for me, that yeah, it's, it's not good. Ah, I remembered something now. Um, another thing that I don't like that much is groceries. Grocery shopping 
it's a measure okay i have to go to three or four three okay i go to Aochan, i go to gmart and i go to su su go su go yeah for different products so i can't find everything in one location maybe because our walmart closed so maybe i could have found everything in walmart but it's too far away so it takes me about three hours to go shopping maybe four hours if i walk um so it's quite a mission and i don't like that fresh vegetables are also quite interesting um yeah the quality is different the packaging is different the vegetables are different um some of the vegetables i like really 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 oh a lot okay just ignore me um <clears throat> and my voice is starting to get a little groggy um i think it's about the it, it's because of the change um yeah so that's something um that i need to consider but further i love it here i love my job i like living here i like my friends i like my food i like my phone <laughs> i like my chocolates um yes it's fun so if you think about coming to china especially nanjing these are some things that you need to know and it's a good place it also depends on where you work but plus i work i really love so it's cool all right i hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me <laughs> yeah bye